The torch is dedicated to shining a light on lesser known topics, organisations or even events. There are so many incredible people in our community doing wondrous things and providing a voice that that may be marginalised or in need of extra care and attention. And the Girlfriend Hour is all about helping support and raise awareness of these initiatives. Our Torch segment guest is the incredible Donna Aston. Donna has been an entrepreneur since she was just 15 years old. She runs an incredibly successful business helping women and men achieve long-standing nutrition and weight loss goals. Donna is no stranger to adversity though. She has remained resilient through the heartbreak of a sudden marriage breakdown. She has a chronic back injury that she manages on a daily basis. Donna's passion and positivity is infectious and like the Girlfriend Hour, her purpose is clear, to empower women and help them be the best versions of themselves. I can't wait to shine a light on all that she is and all that she does. Please put your hands together for the amazing Donna Aston. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, we can't wait to get to know you and all that you bring to the universe. So please tell us about Aston RX program and what makes it unique. Aston RX is an online program for health and weight loss, but the thing that makes it unique is that most people struggling to control their weight mm. actually have a lot of metabolic dysfunction. So rather than putting a Band-Aid on the symptom of that, which is weight gain, we actually work on their actual metabolic profile and mm. we start with pathology testing and so we can then really accurately identify what's going on and then we actually educate people to be able to manage this themselves for a lifetime and then the result of that is, is basically a side effect of rapid fat loss. Amazing. Mm. And are you allowed to reveal any of the celebrity clients that you've worked with and what results they got? Sure. Not, look, not a lot not of them. Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with a lot of high profile people, both people that you would know as a celebrity and also people in business. Um, I've worked with Simon Cowell. Most people oh. would know Simon. Yes. Um, and Sigrid Thornton, who's a very popular Australian actress. Um, I got her ready for the Blue Room, which was, she had to be naked on stage, which was... <gasps> Right. Yeah, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's been, you know, a lot of actors and people that I get ready for different events. Amazing. Mm. And was there a moment or event in your life that led you down the path of health and nutrition? Where does this passion and come from? Two places, really. I was 25 kilos heavier than I am now. So I guess that's where I, I started, was trying on my journey to find out how to improve my own health. Mm. And so I really understand and have empathy for the process of losing weight. I'm not someone who was born skinny. Um, so <laughs> Welcome I, to the club, <laughs> anyone else? <laughs> um, and also I used to be a beauty therapist and I, I was dealing with a lot of people who had acne and, and different health issues that were clearly not going to be fixed with topical creams and treatments. So I, I really wanted to get into the, the inside and the microbiome and all of these things that have an enormous effect on our health and our skin. Um, so, so that's really where it started. Gosh, that's amazing. And tell us about your back injury. How does it affect your everyday life and what happened? I fell off a horse oh. when I was about 16. And I didn't think as much of it then, but obviously did some damage to two discs in my back. And I've managed it over the years. It flares up a little bit and it, I sort of manage it. But about three years ago, I, I ignored a lot of signs in hindsight um, that it was really starting to deteriorate. And I ended up in a really debilitating state. So, you know, I set my alarm at 3am to get out of bed by six. 
<gasps> because I just, I, I literally couldn't move until I'd gone through a whole series of movements to actually get out of bed. I've passed out from the pain. Mm. Um, anyone who's had a, a, a back injury will know it's not like having a sore shoulder or a sore knee. I, I literally couldn't breathe when it was that bad. And so, um, you know, I went down that medical route that a lot of people do of having um, cortisone injections and, and different things to kill off nerves in my back and all sorts of things and came back really to what I know, which is good nutrition for anti-inflammatory purposes. And also, you know, I, I really do need to keep my weight um, in a healthy range because if, if you gain weight, that really impacts your joints as well. So I, I just manage it. Oh my gosh, that's such a story. Wow, to live with that all the time. And from your experience, what do you think are the main reasons that women stop believing in themselves? Because there's, there's this point where all of us go through you know, up and down weight fluctuations, children, hormones and stress, anxiety. Uh, sometimes we do it as a protective mechanism. Uh, but why do you think people stop believing themselves when they put this weight on, they're not feeling their best? So what do you think? I just think there are, there are so many confusing programs and, and diets and exercise regimes and even the experts can't agree with each other. Mm. So how is anybody supposed to figure out how you do it properly. Mm -hmm. And I think people blame themselves for failing time and time again at different diets in an attempt to lose weight. And it's it's really, it's the diet that's the problem. It's the wrong information we're being given. And then we kick ourselves in the head for not being able to follow the wrong information. And over time, I just think it wears people down. And so that's really why I created our program is to, to really give people the empowerment or the education to be able to do this for the rest of their life. So it's, it's a sustainable program because diets, yo-yo diets, you've heard it all. Uh, I know I've been on plenty in my day. And then the moment it's over, it's like straight to the hot donut shop, anyone? Uh, and that's what you've created a program that's sustainable and it's tailored mm -hmm. to each individual body. Yes. Amazing. As this is a girlfriend now, tell me, how do you celebrate friendships with your girlfriends? Just grabbing time, making time, not not finding it because it's very rare to find time, particularly when you run your own business, as you know. Yes. So I think it's really important to make time, even if you think you don't have it. Yes. Um, so, and, and that really is all it takes, just really making time to make people feel important and um, and sharing sharing your life and stories with them. So true. And, it, and I heard somewhere recently that, and I've heard it before, but you know when you hear something and then all of a sudden you hear it and it was, uh, if people can't be heard, they can't be seen. Yeah. And sometimes a girlfriend and many of my girlfriends uh, here today know that sometimes I just want to talk and I just want to be heard. I don't often need them for a solution, but that's okay too. But I just want to be heard and seen. And then I feel validated like all humans. So yeah. Donna, thank you so much for being on our show today. Thank I, you so much I for having I think what you're me. doing is absolutely amazing. And The Torch is all about shining the light on great people and great businesses doing great things in the world. Uh, so thank you so much. Thank it's been you. amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you.